What's going on guys? Another day, another tutorial. Brian here and today I'll be showing you guys how to use the speed ramp effect but this time I'll show you how to use it to transition to another clip. It's quick and easy to do, no plugins required. If you like this type of content make sure to like and subscribe down below. This is a really easy effect to do which can add a cinematic look to your films. All you need are two clips that you shot in either 60 or 120 frames per second to make this whole thing work. When looking for which footage to use, it'll probably work best if both of the clips are moving in the same direction. Like the first clip here, it is panning from left to right. The second clip is doing the exact same pan as well. Now drag those two clips that you have chosen and place them side by side in the project timeline. To make this effect look cinematic, you're going to want to slow down the clips. This part really depends on you and how slow you want it. To get that extra slow motion look, I would suggest bringing it down to about 10%. Once you have applied that to both your clips, go back to the retiming options and select video quality and then optical flow. This option will ensure that your slow down footage isn't choppy. But remember, if you shot your clips in 24 frames per second in camera, you might still find it a bit choppy. To ensure that your footage ends up being smooth, film in a higher frame rate like I mentioned earlier. Now you will need to go to the select tool options and choose range selection. You will then highlight a good chunk of the last half of your first clip. Once that is highlighted, go back to the retiming options and select fast, then the amount you want to speed it up by. Play around and choose different speeds. I usually select 8 times or 20 times, depending on how long the clip is. We will now do the same for the second clip, but this time we will select it at the beginning. Make sure that you highlight enough of the clip to show some kind of movement. Once you have highlighted the part you want sped up, do the exact same thing and change the speed. Play around with the timing of the speed ramp by adjusting the transparent bar on top of the clips. The more you extend it, the smoother and longer the effect will last. Also, try adding a couple more clips after the first two to continue the cool speed ramping effect throughout your video. 